Kia ora. I am very excited to share with you how to create a pictorial vision, which is a, a method that I've used over many years with many clients with amazing outcomes. I've had clients where I've gone in a year later and said, so talk me through your vision again. And they can explain every single detail of the vision and what that means to them of where their, their aim is to be in, say, one year or it could be three years or it could be five years. You get to choose the length of time that you want it to span over. So it's a really, really useful tool if you want your team to bond together and be heading in the same direction. It's also a really useful tool if you want to do this for your own personal good um, or for your small business. Say it's just you and your own business fantastic tool for setting yourself up for success and uh, visualizing where you want to be in a year time, three years time, five years time. <clears throat> so there's the way that you do it. I'm just going to talk you through. I've got some notes here so that I, I don't go off track uh, as I tend to do. Uh, the aim is that, um, that you'll end up with one created pictorial vision of where you want to be. And it encapsulates five key areas. So I try and get my clients to think of five main areas, like to narrow it down to five main areas that they would like to see themselves, where they'd like to see themselves in a year's time, three years, five years. So I'll just use a year for now to make it easy. Uh, so it could be for your own personal business. It could be for you personally. It could be for a team that you're um, leading that you really need them to bind together. Some of the five areas could be, and these are some examples of ones that I've had clients that have used in the past, uh, we have outstanding customer relationships in a year's time. In a year's time, we are beating out the competition. We have an, a team, an A team, that is self-managing. We're using the very latest technology to offer a premium service to our clients. We have up-to-date way, up ways of working that are staff-centric. Staff-centric. I have a team of five staff. It could just be you want to see team growth. I have spoken to a 1,000 people. I have... 500 clients, uh, I'm in my new home, um, it could be anything like that, so uh, so just think about some, some main, what are the main things that you'd like to have achieved in a year's time, <coughs> what you're going to do then is you're going to draw each of those five, just drawing, now there's some rules around this, so if you're working with a team, you're on your own or you're working um, for your business or your, yourself, the rules are no words, letters or numbers can be used in any of the pictures. No judgments either on self or someone else's drawing. Take notes of the best parts of each person's drawing. So it could be that you come up with uh, a drawing, somebody else comes up with one and you think, oh, I love the fact you used a link chain in that picture. That really, I really relate to that for that particular area of, of where, what we really want to be in a year. Uh, so each area is broken down to one of the, each five and you draw each one of the five. Now you'll need quite a few things for this. So you're going to need some pens, pencils, erasers, a ruler, coloured pens, crayons, lots of colours of paint, paint brushes, big and small, because you might need to do some detailed lines. Who knows? Glitter. Always need glitter. What kind of vision would it be without glitter? Uh, coloured papers, crepe paper, material pieces are really good to use too. Uh, glue, sellotape, lots of butcher's paper and a canvas for the finished product. Even a glue gun is quite good too actually. Um, now the way that you start it off is you start with a really easy drawing just to get uh, get your juice, creative juices flowing. And it may be uh, what I like to start with is what do your values look like at the moment? So what's important to you in your life? How do you What do you base your life on? Uh, the things that are most important. Um, to get just to get everything flowing and so once you've done that so the first thing that you do is get everyone to 10 minutes say to, to draw that then what you do is you go around and get each person to explain their vision and then you pull out each of you pull out oh I love that bit of yours and I love that bit of yours so that everyone feels validated um, there's no judgment on any of the drawings really important no one laughs, no one puts their own drawing down. You know what I find really common is people will say, oh, excuse my drawing. It doesn't matter if it's stick figures. It's not about the quality of the drawing. It's about the, the what's in the drawing. Okay, so um, it, you don't have to be a world famous artist. You don't have to be a Banksy. So you start with an easy drawing. Then what you do is you, you get the first of the five areas that you've chosen that you want to focus on. And, <clears throat> and you start drawing the first area. Um, 
where how that looks for you in a year's time. You explain, and then you put everyone, get everyone to put that first area drawings up on in an area on the wall. Use blue tack. That's what we use. Then you get to go through the next one. Give them ten minutes to draw. It's not about rushing it. It's about making sure they have plenty of time. Sometimes. What I find is somebody could be just sitting there staring at a blank page for the first eight minutes of the ten minutes. And the next thing is they come out with this amazing drawing in the last two, an amazing reflection of what that 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 um, area looks like. So it's a really exciting uh, exercise to do with the team or on your own. So once you've got five groups of drawings up on the wall, then what you do is you go around each one, <clears throat> or if you're doing it on your own, you've got five drawings, Go around each one and then pick out what, or start creating visually in your mind, what would reflect all of those five in one vision? What kind of a picture would reflect all those five in one vision? This is where it's great, great when you've got groups because you can see a heart or a chain link or a tree or a hand or something that reflects a whole lot of stuff and piece those together to create one amazing vision. So then what you do is you get, um, is you start creating your final vision. Now I find with groups, the best way to do that, in fact on your own it would be good too, is use a whiteboard so that you can rub bits out. So I say, somebody start it, it doesn't matter what it looks like, somebody start it. And someone will always get up and they'll just put together what they've come up with. And then I say, anyone else want to change, add, delete, it's okay. Don't get precious about your drawing because it's about a, com a combined effort. So somebody else will come up and say I saw it more like this and now they might change it somebody else might say I saw the whole thing like this so people start to get their courage up and it's so fantastic and you'll start seeing it become the vision that encapsulates all the five areas now the most important part here is that nobody gets left behind so you don't have anyone that goes yeah okay I didn't quite see it like that but I'll go with that no that's not good enough they have to feel enraptured in it so they have to love it that's really important. And then the final part is you create the vision on canvas, paint it, use colouring pens, whatever. And then while you're doing that, you think about how the strategy is going to look of how you're going to achieve keeping the vision alive, keeping it top of mind in meetings, um, when you're making decisions. Um, is it going to be on screensavers? Um, I've had teams where they had a brick on their desk. Uh, teams that made key rings, um, had screen, yeah, screen savers, they have uh, posts on the walls. Uh, if they've got different branches, they do replicas of the painting so that they have them in each branch. It's just fantastic. So I'm really excited to share that with you. I'm really excited to hear how you go with it. So please do let me know. Thanks so much for watching.